Extreme representing for Real Facts TV. Bring the latest happenings to you faster than 5G. Subscribe, comment, like, share. See you pre. Welcome viewers and subscribers to Real Facts TV. If you are new to this channel, won't now wait panel, like the video, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, hit the notification bell no man that anytime we drop a next video, on oh no, alerted. A man was shot and killed during a gun attack in the Mobile Hills area of St. James on Friday. 31 year old Okil Carvalho of St. James address. Resident reportedly heard loud explosion in the area sometime after 11 p.m. and notified the police. On their arrival, Okil was suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. The police have not yet identified a motive for the killing as their investigation is still ongoing. Another alert has been activated for 13-year-old Rutan Wilson, who has been missing since Saturday. Wilson also called Ruti is from Portmore Park in Bridgeport, St. Catherine. She is a dark complexion and slim build. The Bridgeport police say Rutan was last seen at home that about 8 a.m. She was wearing a black and white blouse black skirt and a pair of slippers. A 48 year old mechanic was shot dead at an illegal bike show in Udall, Clarendon last night. He has been identified as Marlon Salman of Denby, also in Clarendon. The Mapen police say about 8.15 p.m. Salman was standing along the roadway when he was bounced upon by harm men who opened gunfire, hitting him several times. The police were alerted and on their arrival, Salman was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The St. Angenard police are now probing last night murder of one man and the injury of another at Red Gathering in the parish last night. The incident occurred about 9.30 p.m. It's reported that 37-year-old Danny Barrett of Maryland District St. Andrew went to the location to meet a woman he would be seen for the first time. Barrett and three others, including two female teenagers, were in a parked car when men aboard a black motor car drove up and opened fire. He was hit in the head and the neck. The driver of the car also shot in his leg. The shooter then drove away.